Let's get it popping. Well, I forgot about my tea. Lash. There's a lash out of place. Da -da -da, gotta get it. Two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. Hey babes, welcome to Marche's Mirror. If you're new, I'm Marche. Thanks for clicking on this video. If you're returning, gang, gang, gang. <laughs> In today's video, we have a 75% get ready with me because it ain't much to do because I still have braids. But I do show you how I got this beautiful, natural, bronze, glowy look. And I show you this outfit. So you're still getting some tea. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead. It's free. Join the family. We have fun here at the Mira. And follow me on Instagram because why not? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just get into it. I know I started with my brows. I don't know why my voice. <clears throat> my voice sounds really, at least to me, it sounds really raspy. I went through a traumatic experience. Yesterday evening, I was eating beer fish, so basically fry fish, and a bone got stuck in my throat. A bone got stuck in my throat. Mind you, this was at like 7 o'clock at night. I just got the bone out, and it's the next day at 11.42. The bone was in my throat for over 16 hours, y'all. I was con contemplating going to patient first to ask them to get it out. But then I look, I shined my flashlight in my mouth. Because the whole time, right, I thought it was in my esophagus. So I ate, like, of course, Google. I went and bought marshmallows. I drank two Pepsis. I ate four loaves of bread. And so then the next morning, when it's like, dang, I slept and it's still in there. I go shine a light in my I go shine a light in my throat it is literally to the left of my throat like right next to I can't think of what it's called but like your gag reflex it was like jabbed in there literally 90 degree angle so <laughs> it was never gonna come out on its own is basically what I'm saying so I had to stick my finger to the back of my throat and get it out Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. So, that was dramatic, nonetheless. So, I just used Pure Soap on my brows, and I'm about to conceal with the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Amande, and then a Black Opal Foundation Stick. Let's talk about being single. <laughs> I am single as a Pringle. And I'm happy about it. So, um, I think, especially like right now, it's not, you know, the world's halfway open, or at least where I live, it's halfway open. So, this isn't really like, this isn't a hard time. Is that, I don't know if there's a, a hard time, but I don't know. Let me speak for myself. I am content with being single um I still have lots of stuff to work on me so I'm just focused on my brand focused on me and my goals and you know it's crazy that I say that at the beginning of the year I said that my word of the year was focus so it's crazy that I just basically set all that i can seal my lids with the same um concealers i'm gonna set that really quick with laura mercier and then we're gonna do eyes here i am getting hot again and i have tea i have tea and water like if i leave without water i'm stressed water would be nice i'm gonna use the amrezy palette and i'm gonna use three shades Using New Yorker, 1988, and Gorgina. 
1988 pack that in and then blend it out we're just doing a basic nude so you're gonna take 1988 and pack that on the outer V what was I talking about oh yeah being single so yeah um I'm focused on me <laughs> and that sounds so cliche but um I will be filming a video soon like soon soon of how I overcame my toxic breakup and thank you Jesus thank you Jesus and how I bounced back I'm sorry, we're going in with New Yorka. New Yorka. I'm sorry, because that it has a W in it. New Yorka. Um, and we're blending out 1988. I swear, my brain. As soon as I start to film, I forget how to talk. What? Ooh, what? Ooh. Like, the words just leave me. And then I like forget the order in which I do my makeup. But it's all good because I can seal them. That's really all I need. Plus I needed the soap to dry. So. This is also beginner friendly. Because I'm only using three brushes, three colors. And you basically just put the shadow, put the darkest shadow, blend that with the lightest shadow. And then we're going to put a little sparkle on the lid but not too much not too much not too much then we take this flat brush and go in with gorgina is it gorgina or gorgina <laughs> we're not cutting the crease but we are putting the shadow down precisely This is such a pretty look. I wish I knew. I wish I knew how to tweeze my eyebrows myself. Cause there's a hair that she gotta go. Do my brows. I've been into using powder, so I'm using the Kat Von D Brow Struck in Walnut. I'm not sure what's going on with Kat Von D at Sephora. Her lippies were like. Oh yeah. So some of her lippies are like five dollars right now and you know another brand i saw cover fx looks as if they're leaving so for because on the app it was only i was trying to get the foundation it was only like six shades and they were on sale so i wonder if people are if it's like contract renewal time or something and desi by desi perkins and so let's talk about Fenty skin, right? I love Fenty. I stand Rihanna. But I've been watching all the reviews people are putting out. And it's mixed, which I guess skincare is slightly more tricky than makeup, right? And a few people that I trust have said it was bomb. But then there were others that were like, the fragrance is a big problem. I would have loved for her to, I would have loved for Rihanna to have done an unscented version. And she still might in the future. But yeah, the fragrance is like 1%. However, I think it's like the second ingredient. I don't know and so I checked some of my other products to be like so do I have stuff with fragrance in it <laughs> I don't so I'm, I would be that one percent for sure I would be the one percent to break out so I'm still debating but I think I'm gonna skip the launch and then if she releases it with releases it fragrance free <laughs> I'm a copy now the Desi glasses I'm 
Buku. Okay, see, here I go again. Skipping stuff. Hydro Grip Primer. The primer of the year. The M. And the MVP. <laughs> Most valuable primer. This primer grabs onto your makeup like, yeah. I'm funny. Okay. I'm funny, y'all. Now that I've primed, I'm going to conceal my scarring that I'm working double time to get rid of, y'all. Your girl is over here working double time. We've come a long way since the beginning of quarantine. Not even going to hold you. But we have a long way to go. I've never gotten... I get my eyebrows threaded, right? Um... But now my upper lip is a problem. <laughs> but I hear if you wax it or do anything, it turns dark. And I'm already dealing with darkness. I'm not really sure what to do. Help your girl out. Contour. Um, I like to think of it more like bronzer, but we still say contour because this is warm. Contouring is like um, gray like for shadows. And this is warm. I think I care more about bronzing. Especially now because I usually am quite tan at this point in the year. And <laughs> thanks to the pandemic, I did not get the tan that I deserve this year. Lately I've been feeling like I've been constant like doing my nose crooked <laughs> which is like double or is my nose crooked because like that's a whole different conversation um many of you might i mean y'all wouldn't know because whoa i went so <laughs> you never made me lose my train of thought this is why i don't talk when i do my makeup because what clearly yeah <laughs> i can't i can't with myself i can't it's okay we'll fix it anywho I did not get the tan that I deserve this year. I had tons. I shouldn't say tons. I had about three trips planned this year. I was supposed to go to Turks and Caicos with my family this summer. And I'm sure I would have squeezed in an Atlanta trip. A Miami trip. Those kind of trips. But. And then I was supposed to go tour like Europe. But you know what? I'm grateful, okay? I have been blessed. This quarantine. Like. Honestly and truly, so foundation I'm using Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Foundation. I love this foundation, but my press butt bought again. I bought this when I was super tan, like super duper tan. And so I do have to do some tweaking. And she's expensive, but I do want to buy a lighter shade because I just love the finish like you look flawless when you wear this I've been wearing my real nails obviously because of quarantine they have their set of issues too let me hit my hand too hard broken nail washing my sponges hope like took a chunk like they have their stuff too, I tell you. I'm taking the Born This Way multi-use multi-use sculpting concealer in shade Butterscotch. I want to start using more brushes. I think I've noticed that um, a lot of the makeup artists I use use a lot of brushes and less sponges so I want to I do I use more brushes on clients but on myself I use 
more sponges, so I'm gonna get better at chit chat, get ready with me. So, oh, I know what I never finished talking about. New releases, the Desi shades. Um, I love Desi Perkins, and I feel like um, all the other collabs that she's had that I've supported have been done with integrity, so now that she's doing her own brand, I know that it's gonna be bomb. But of course, the Libra in me, she gave me too many options, way too many options. Before we set our face, we're gonna go in with the Cream Fenty uh, Blush in Summertime Wine, Cheeks Out Blush in Summertime Wine, on a Sephora Pro Blush brush. It's 90, it's Pro Blush 99. See what I mean? I start filming and the words go bye bye. And I like a lot of blush, so whatever floats your boat, but I like blush. Now we're going to set. Whole face. I set my whole face using the MAC Dark Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. Did I say that? On a big fluffy Real Techniques brush. And I barely said it. You don't even. I want to start not setting my face. I don't know. I have, I'm weird. But before we move on. Oh wait. First we're going to do bronzer. So we're using the Hula Toasted Bronzer. She's pigmented. Okay. So you got to be. And we already went ham. We're going to go in with MAC Fix Plus. To get rid of the powdery look. Because we just put a lot of powders on our face. This is not a setting spray, in case you were wondering. I kind of went ham because I'm also hot. All right, next we're going to do our under eye. All right, we're going in with the same colors we used in our crease under eye. So we're going to go in with 1988 first. And we're only taking that until we get to like our pupil. And then we're gonna take New Yorker and blend it out. Just diffuse it a little bit. This is probably gonna be one of the last videos where you guys see me with braids because I'm over them. They have been in for the entire month of July. I love them. I love the fake knotless braids. I I wish I would have got them like half this size. So for every one braid, I wish I had two. But because my scalp was sore for a little bit for like a long time. Let me not even lie. Let me not even cap. It was like the front was sore. But yeah, I'm over it. Um. I want to take them out and then give my hair like a little week break and then I want to try to do passion twist myself. When I do my makeup and I like FaceTime my sister, she's always like, why my face don't look like that? So I really want to do a step by step y'all, like literally. I'm going to, maybe I'll put like the products on my Instagram and then... The next week post the video so that you can literally i want it to be like you can literally watch me and do it with me and you should end up with a good beat but yeah my little sis denise taught me how to put lashes on in college <laughs> via facetime so yeah if you know any black owned lash companies leave them down below because your girl's in the market for some new lashes all right, we're going to go in with bottom mascara. I'm using the Arbonne Speak Volumes mascara. I love this mascara for the bottom lash line. I will leave my link down below if you want to grab you some. And I'm going to show y'all. Don't worry. It's proof in the pudding. Oh, my lashes are so long that I try to like make them dry before I really look up. 
But do y'all see the difference? Do y'all see that? Like, like, what? What? Blush. <laughs> Sorry, I'm using a Makeup Forever blush. I'm not sure what shade because it's a solo pan, so. I forgot, Sadi. But, like I said, I'm buying some new blushes. I need some. I love blush. Love it, love it, love it. For highlighter, I'm using an old, oldie. The ABH Nicole Guerrero highlight palette and I'm using the shade glow getter on a morphe m501 this is my holy grail highlight brush there we go we're going into the Jackie i9 abh palette and we're taking trust we'll do both <laughs> when in doubt do both now we're going on to lips. We're using the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Limitless Brown. Love this pencil. It's a dupe for Chestnut. I don't want to say dupe because I, <laughs> I think it might cost more than MAC Chestnut. However, you can use this on your eyes and your lips. And it's safe. So, And then I'm going to go in with MAC Yosh. Lately I've been into... I don't want to... I'm not overlining my lips. No. I am... I just go over my Cupid's bow. If that makes sense. It's crazy how most black girls have a a memory of like getting bullied for their lips and now literally everybody's like people are getting lip fillers i was definitely made insecure about my full lips but now people want my lips just goes to show you that like just love what you've been given everything's a blessing just love it we're going to set with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist in Sweet Peach. This was the collab with Sweetie. Love Sweetie. Um, I used the original too. I just bought this one because it smells like peach. But the original is just as good. Like This is a bomb. Now this is a setting spray that you need. Add it to your cart. Thank me later. What are my edges looking like? Oh. Rude. Um, my edges actually don't look bad. I'm not going to touch them because, like I said, <laughs> these braids, their days are numbered. To go get dressed, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, babes, that completes this look. This super cute, natural, glam look. I have put on two rings. My rings are from Bobble Bar. My watch is Michael Kors. Super cute structure top is by my best friend's boutique, Tony Lauren Appel. I will link it down below. So these shoulder pad tops are coming back and I'm here for it. We'll insert a picture of my full outfit. The skirt is from Zara last summer. Shoes, Zara this summer. I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat. Get ready with me. If you haven't already, subscribe. Go ahead and join the family. We have fun here at the Mira. And while you're at it, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Like, come on. Why not? <laughs> and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. you cry I know that you're happy I see it in your eyes